Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to look at uh, Mathematics 1 for Craft Certificate in Electrical Engineering and also for Telecommunication. I'm going to look at um, June-July 2022 uh, past paper and um, if you haven't sub subscribed to my channel uh, please do and also don't forget to like this video. So without wasting time I'm going to look at um, question number seven this question is 10 marks it's a statistics question so you have been given a table there uh, the table bit one shows the distribution of measurements of 100 pieces of wire so you have to determine the following that is the mode the median and the standard deviation correct to two decimal places all right so the first thing you do is to prepare this table, the frequency distribution table, where you have the, the midpoint, <coughs> the frequency, the cumulative frequency, the fx, the x squared, and the fx squared. So I've already done the midpoint. So basically midpoint is 40 to 43. Uh, no, I mean 40 plus 43 divided by 2. Again, here is 44 plus 47 divided by 2. You get 41.5, 45.5, 49.5 all the way. Okay. Now, to get the cumulative frequency, is basically here it is 5. Here it is 5. Uh, here is basically 15. All right. Then 15 plus 12, that is 27. 27 plus 35, that is 62. 62 plus 28, that is 19. 90 plus 10 is 100. So this cumulative frequency should add up to 100 because um, all of this is equal to 100. So the summation here equals to 100. Okay? Now, to get fx is basically the frequency times the midpoint. So the first value here is 5 times 1.5. You get 207.5. Here you get 455, 594.18, 72.5. Here you get 16.10 and here you get 6.5. So the summation of fx here, if you add all this, you get uh, 53.54. Mm, again, x squared is basically this uh, the midpoint, so you square that. So you get here is 17, 22.5, 0.25, sorry, 0.25, here is 20, 70.25, here is 24, 50.25, here is 28, 62.25, here is 33.06.25. Here is 37.82.25. Yeah, that's it. So the next one is f x squared. So it's basically the frequency times x squared. So this 5 times this. All right. So if you multiply that, you get 611.25. Here you get 20, 20.5, 20, 29, 92, 57, here you get 3, 
seven eight three seven eight two two point five. Now this summation of fx squared you get twenty nine to eighty nine thousand two hundred and ninety three. So if you prepare this table up to that point, <clears throat> you're going to get a mark for each of these. So you'll have four marks. So so far you have four marks if you prepare correctly up to that point. Now the question was asking you to get the the mean, the mode, and the standard deviation correct to decimal place. So now the model class. You basically look at the frequency, the one with the highest is 35. So the model class is uh, between 52 to 55. So the model class here, the model class is 52 to 55. Our class width is basically 45.5 minus this. The difference here should be 4 throughout. So if you add 4, you get this like that all the way. So our class width is to 4. Alright, so the formula for getting the, the mode is given by the lower class limit of that model class plus delta 1 over delta 1 plus delta 2. I'll explain what that is multiplied by the class width. Now delta 1 is basically uh, frequency in this class, the, the frequency of the model class minus the the, the frequency of the previous class, which we'll call it F0. Delta 2 is the frequency of the model class minus the next frequency, which is F2. So now we continue. Now, the lower class boundary is this 52 minus this class limit minus 5, minus 0 0.5. So it will be 51.5 plus now 35 minus 12 is basically 23 23 all over 23 plus 35 minus 28 is 7 multiplied by the class width so this one now you get if you work out this one you get is 54.57 right so the next thing you are going to look at is the the mean the mean so the mean is given by this formula the lower class limit plus the sample size n divided by two all right uh, minus the cumulative frequency divided by the the frequency in that class the frequency in that class they multiplied by the class size uh, the class width rather so the model class the, the median class no this is the median sorry this is the median the median sorry for that not the mean this is the median sorry for that so the median class is the same as the model class because n over 2 is 50 and 50 lies between somewhere here so 50 lies somewhere here so our median is given by this formula so our median class then is uh, the same as our model class here so the lower class limit here will be 51 i mean the lower class boundary will be 51.5 plus n over 2 is basically 100 divided by 2 that is 50 the cumulative frequency of the previous class, this is the cumulative frequency of the previous class. Uh, this is our median class, so the previous, the cumulative frequency 
of the previous class will be 27. So minus 27 divided by the frequency of that class, which is now 35. Our class width is 4. So if you work out these, you will get correct two decimal places. You will get the median is 54.13. Right. Uh, actually, they had not asked for the median. Uh, I think I've given you a bonus how to calculate the median. So the question was asking the mean. Sorry, the mean. The mean. So the mean is basically given by this formula divided by summation of fx divided by f, summation of f. Uh, summation of fx is basically 53.4 divided by 100. And you get, uh, this is 53.54. So, and finally, the standard deviation, which is shortened as SD, the standard deviation, is given by this formula. summation of fx squared divided by summation of f minus the mean is also known as the x bar x bar squared so this is our x bar so this is also the x bar the mean is also the x bar then you get the square root of that so in this case it will be the square root of 289 our summation of this one here and this value here 293 divided by 100 minus our x by the mean which is 53.54 squared all right then if you work out that you get the square root of that and if you work out you get 5.1 for as a standard deviation now next next i'm going to look at um, this question again it's also a very easy question they're asking for the median which i've already shown you in the, the the example that i've just done the ninth decile and the 60th percentile so don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share. Thank you for watching.